Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer neuen Folge. Geht ihr auf 5, immer noch bei der Mission Lamar zu retten. Diesmal gehe ich mit Franklin mal von hinten rein. Ich bleib mal vielleicht bei ihm. Binde Lamar. Vielleicht mal ohne Licht. Hm? Ach da. Okay. So. Und einen roten Punkt gesehen. Steckt schon wieder mitten drin. Ey. Nein, nicht wegnehmen. So, dann... Den, warum hast du den hinter dir noch nicht erledigt? So, jetzt gehen wir mal ein bisschen vorsichtiger vor. Da sind wir, Kim. Hier. Das ist er. Den Dach. Oh Gott. Okay. Shit. Ich kann ihn eigentlich nicht allein lassen. So, ich muss kurz nochmal zu Franklin. Der schaut nämlich so gut aus. Warte, müsste der Michael nicht den rechts sehen können? Uh, wei, wei. Warte mal. Trevor? In your ass. So. Hi. Also doch. Oh shit. Das ist schlecht. Shit, das ist schlecht. Hm? Also ist er von mir. Oh fuck, 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 fuck. Kurzer Franklin wechseln. Ah shit. Ne, warte mal. Ne, das ist der falsche. Irgendeiner war da oben doch noch. Der dann. Keine Ahnung, wo der andere ist. Warte mal. Gehen wir zu Frank. Ähm, Trevor? Was machst du schon wieder da unten? So, jetzt da. Ich kann mich selbst 
It's come. Hey, T, you got to tell the people up at the strip club that your boy Long Dick drank for free. You heard? Bring mal zurück zu seinem Haus. Okay, warte mal. Wir fahren anders. Ich habe keinen Bock da jetzt nochmal durch das Gebirge da zu düsen. Shit, homie. You all right? I'm straight, homie. Bitch got to jump on me though. I didn't get you to come all way. Huh? All way out here. Man, I ain't been let a little drive stand in the way of a money making opportunity. Or get killed opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga, a realist. Cause in reality, all them fools want to clap your ass. Man, what a trust that dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lift, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up. I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the biz end. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was going to parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of clapping your ass. Man, you show? Cause I'm sure there's been a few times when... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga, whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs, talking about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot, since you've been uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... And we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you call this? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapping. I can make sure I ain't clapping. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And as a matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them dudes. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga Stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You sure Stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga Stress knew. Everybody knew Stress knew. Tanisha knew Stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga Stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, Stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But Stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? Aight, aight, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stress got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as marks, dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stress sends you out there where they doing a cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> man, I don't know. That shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dawg. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. <laughs> you should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. Oh, bullshit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you better check them drawers, homie. You probably shit it yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies to get you. Nigga, you didn't look like they was paying you no compliment, nigga. Must have just caught a glimpse of your ugly ass. 
Nigga, you think I'm some angel come to take your ass somewhere you never going to. You pray to your white man God, homie. I'm going to the Great Plain Beyond where the buffalo keep on roaming and the little squall bitches want me to nut on their face all day. Bitch, please. Ein wunderbares Gespräch, vor allem der Abschluss. Tja, anscheinend ist Stretch das Problem. Und ich habe das Gefühl, wir werden uns darum kümmern müssen. In einer spektakulären Mission mit Geballer und Explosion. <lacht> Oder so ähnlich. So, I guess. I guess what we learned is. Nigga, don't think it ain't no fun if you have fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <lacht> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the sack. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, yeah. nigga, I know you done went all Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but... Damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, thank you, I guess. It's payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a... Little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Cause number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. Man, you supposed to, my nigga. I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Oh, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga. If you remember where that is. Oh! What's up, player? Oh, Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey. When the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out the pasture. Oh, me? Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who was that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey, oh, flossing ass nigga. Ach oh Gott. Die von der tollen Schießerei. Bestanden, Lama am Boden. Hey, hey, hey. Echt? Ich hab 18 Kopfschüsse verteilt? Drei Wegelösung. Na gut. Sonst ein Abschluss, bla. Schön, äh, nicht schön. Bin ich gespannt, was die eigentlich von mir wollen. Oh, ein Besuch merke ich gerade. Ha. Oh. Oh. Weil mit Michael haben sie sich ja ein bisschen verscherzt. Was? F, mein Vater ist doch ein komplettes Arsch. Ich gehe zu Premier seines Films. Krass, Alter. Treff ihn bei Ponzenboy, damit er sich ein Smoking besorgen kann. Dann geht's ab zum roten Teppich. Hashtag Stil. Achso, jetzt kriegt's ein Sündchen bei Michael. Warte mal. Ähm, wo war das Haus? Kann ich da eigentlich noch rein? Das habe ich noch nie ausgetestet. Das ist es doch, oder? Das alte Haus. Das wurde echt ab... Wow, okay. Die haben echt daran gedacht, das einfach das zuzumachen. Okay, die Garage auch. 
Meine Garage geht trotzdem auf. Da steht ja ein Motorrad vor mir noch drin. Okay. Na gut, cool. Ach komm, dann fahren wir das kurz nach oben, obwohl das ist sowieso nicht das Beste, oder? Wo ist 40 ganz okay? Hm. Ich fahre jetzt noch ein bisschen rum. Vielleicht kommt jetzt noch die Mission von den FLB-Typen. Oder muss ich zuerst Michaels Mission machen? Muss ich? Wo? Das Handling gefällt mir aber nicht so bei dem Motorrad. Hm. Jetzt gerade irgendwie so starr angefühlt. Hm, da ist Reinbildung. Scheint aber gerade kein bisschen zu kommen. Okay, schade. Dann würde ich sagen, verabschiede ich mich von hier. Ich fahre jetzt noch das Motorrad nach oben. Ich okay, bin sowieso gleich da. Und wir sehen uns dann beim nächsten Mal. Bis dann. Tschüss.